Recently, some D&D content creators have put out some videos talking about the dispel magic and counter spell spells, talking about how they are dumb, why they should be removed from the game, or at the very least, reworked. Now, both Davi Chappie and XP to Level 3 make some really good points in these videos, but in my opinion, they are just wrong, at least in some aspects of their arguments. Now, this video is not meant to shit on either Jacob or Davi, as I thoroughly enjoy both of their content, I just think that there is some aspects of this argument over Dispel Magic and Counterspell that are missing. So I'm going to just give my thoughts and some responses over a few points of contention that were made in this video, specifically talking about Dispel Magic, and how these arguments both apply to Counterspell as well as Dispel Magic, and why they are both necessary in the game of 5th edition. Now again, all this is going to be just my opinion as a much smaller D&D content creator shouting out into the ether and hoping somebody listens. Davi or Jacob, if you ever see this video, please don't be mad at me. So, counterspell and dispel magic are not dumb. Now the first argument to address is that you could just, just flip, flip the, the magic, magic off, off switch, switch until, until all of your problems, problems are solved. solved. If your big bad evil wizard crumples at the sight of a single very well-known third level spell, you need some serious encounter rebalancing. Any evil arc wizard worth his salt would know that dispel magic and counter spell exist and should be prepared accordingly. You can bet all of your characters platinum that that wizard definitely has counter spell prepared just for when that type of thing might happen. I can tell you're already probably thinking, well, what if the party has two casters who can do Dispel Magic in the same turn, and the Big Bad already used this reaction, and now he's going to crumple into a piece of paper? Well, if that's the case, then you can just slap some legendary actions and some legendary resistances onto the final fight, as it should be, to prevent this from happening. Which brings me to the next argument, this time coming from Davi Chappie anymore. The only recourse is for both wizards to take counterspell, but then they're just burning reactions and spell slots for nothing. Obviously this point is a matter of opinion, but it is in my opinion that the game of Dungeons and Dragons, or at least the combat portion of Dungeons and Dragons, is a game of 4D chess, where you constantly have to be playing around what your opponent could possibly do five turns down the line and making your moves accordingly. This type of playstyle is in the same vein of trying to fight a legendary monster like an ancient red dragon or a lich, where you're constantly throwing out spells trying to bait the counter spell that you know they have, or maybe you use all of your big spells to get rid of those counter spells so that you can damage them reliably. It's all a game of strategy. And I think that without some sort of safeguard in place like counter spell or dispel magic, Wizards could just run around throwing their highest damage things everywhere and there would be no counterplay for you or the enemies. Which brings me to the third and final point. Take it away, Jacob. There is no counterpoint to it. You don't need a counter spell to a fireball like an ice ball. If you are a monk or a rogue, you can dodge a fireball. If you can be immune or resistant to fire damage, there's magic items that can also grant you that. Dispel magic doesn't have any counter to it. The only counter is, oh, I hope the dice roll is low enough. There is a counter for dispel magic. It's called counter spell. But in all seriousness, let's talk about that point counters. Like Jacob said, if you're a dexterous character like a ranger or a monk, you can just take a lot less damage. Or if you're a rogue, you can just take no damage on a successful dex save from a fireball. If you're something like a fighter or a paladin or a barbarian, you just have a bucket load of hit points and oftentimes a really high AC to tank all of that damage. But what happens when you're the wizard? If counterspell didn't exist, what would be the saving grace of the wizard? It just becomes a game of, whoa, which wizard has the higher initiative order? And that's basically all that determines who would win in that fight. Without Counterspell, the party's wizard could just nuke with a fireball and kill everything. Or the evil enemy wizard could nuke the party with a fireball and all of the squishy casters are dead. Right now, as it stands, wizards get nothing to protect themselves from spell damage. They get a D6 hit die at their lowest and a d8 at their highest for their hit dice. And they oftentimes have little to no armor class, and the saving throws like dexterity or strength are probably non-existent. Although if you did build a dex-based wizard, I guess you're just cool, I don't know. And if you have to rely on a magic item to get protection from that spell damage, that's not really a good enough excuse. There's no inherent 
class benefit to the wizard that gives them any protection from the spell damage. Their protection is having to burn their third level or higher spell slots to prevent damage. Now, I do agree with the opinion that Counterspell can create some awful feels bad moments where with the snap of a fingers, your entire turn is ruined and you can just check out for the rest of that combat turn. But going off of that, I would also argue that it could probably feel even worse to be in a final boss encounter with you being the wizard and the Lich goes first, cast power word kill, and you might as well just rip up your character sheet. Now there is an argument to be made on why sp instant no save spells like power word kill are also toxic for the game, but that's an entirely separate video. Which is why I do agree that counter spell could be retweaked slightly to, in my opinion, require a roll for every spell, regardless of if you are casting counter spell at a higher level than the spell you are trying to counter. You would just get an additional bonus to the roll as if you were trying to cast a lower level counter spell on a higher level spell. You would just get a higher modifier. I think that this little tweak would add a little bit more interactivity to the spell as well as give the player who originally cast the spell that is trying to be countered more involvement in that turn, even if the spell does get countered. But that is my piece on why counter spell slash dispel magic is a necessary evil, if you will, for 5th edition. But what do you guys think of Dispel Magic and Counterspell? Do you agree with Davi and Jacob that these two spells are just the dumbest shit in all of D&D? Or do you agree with me that they are necessary for game balance? Be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments or jump over to my Twitch chat and come tell me how wrong or right I am over there. Link it in the description. Also, if you somehow have not watched Jacob or Davi's videos before watching this one and you made it this far into the video, I will link both of their videos that I referenced down in the description as well. And in the event that either Jacob or Davi see this video, I love you guys. Please don't copy strike this video.